Thanks for checking out another edition of the Four Ps. You know, baseball season is here. The Mets have already raised hopes and expectations with a hot start, and I am plowing through a binge marathon of The Americans on Amazon Prime while gearing up for a full winter blast of Game of Thrones starting next week. By the way, do you realize how crazy it is that we have to wait a full week in between each episode? I mean, who does that anymore? For the first time in at least 25 years, I am going to a baseball card show this weekend. And I can't imagine they have changed that much over the years with old dudes laying out their wares on dusty folded tables in a sea of clear plastic protective cases. Man, talk about nostalgia. I am excited. But what's crazy is that I've learned that the value of the baseball cards and sports cards that we collected when we were kids, and they're the exact same price now that they were 30 years ago. So if anybody was holding on to things, expecting them to have matured in value, they have not. Of course, thanks to overproduction and an overabundance of availability, I am still going to be seeing the same Cal Ripken rookie cars that every single one of these dudes is going to be showing, I'm guessing. What I am most excited about and looking forward to is taking my son to the card show. and He has full-fledged card-collecting fever, so we'll be getting some Hall of Fame athlete autographs, people signing in the corners. Uh, we'll be bringing our own cards to trade and sell, and hopefully not getting ripped off. Now, the week isn't over, but I've already had some really good and even great conversations with a number of longtime friends in our industry this week. Just getting together, talking about the present and future of platforms and branded content, ownership, distribution, optimization, you name it. Now, some of the things that we all kind of weirdly agreed upon, um, even just in this conversation, despite representing different aspects of the space, like one's a production-focused vendor, another in ad tech, and another uh, is an executive for, for one of the uh, major digital platforms. And we all agreed that there is just too much content now being pushed out. It's We're oversaturated. It's overloaded. Being pushed out. And much of it without a clear understanding of the purpose or what it's actually doing to drive business objectives for those who are putting it out. So what about thinking about content as not something that you're just pushing out? What about thinking about it as something that is a means of bringing consumers in and into your funnel and down your funnel in a meaningful and measurable way? It's possible. Some of us are actually doing it already. So if this sounds like something that you might be interested in, I know a team that can help. I spent some time on my commute into the city this morning taking a break from working on positioning decks and pitch decks and pipeline building and prospecting, which are four very different Ps, by the way. Um, but I ended up going down a MAGA, Trump, conservative, crazy Twitter rabbit hole. Now, you may think that I'm biased, and I probably am, but some of this stuff was so irrational fact reverse garbage that it kind of scared me it's it's borderline dangerous and i don't see how at this point our nation can ever come back from this but i think what has filled me with at least some degree of hope is my growing appreciation for the rise of mayor pete he's honest and energetic and smart and compassionate and just a really effective communicator I hope he's not peaking too soon. There's still a long way to go, but he's already moved up to third in some of the polls. Polls, uh, And I will tell you what I love most about his candidacy, um, and that is his hashtag feel the butt that is taking over Twitter. All right, so this may only apply to a small portion of my growing audience, but it is such a practical nugget that I feel the need to share with you. 
So we all know that the CAN Festival for marketing and advertising has become an annual must-attend event for agencies and brand marketers and media platforms and ad tech and vendors. It's a scene. And it comes just after, you know, a few weeks after the Cannes Film Festival. So this town has become a business catering to the international elite who have no problem dropping money on yachts and rosé. But for those who have been, you know that finding a decent hotel anywhere near the activities can be a challenge. That's why I recommend Can Concierge. Now, this was actually a tip from our old friend Lee Mycon. But this is like a full service Airbnb for apartments and places to stay, like right on the beach. Now, I found a studio apartment on the strip with a kitchen and a laundry and daily maid service for like a third of the price of a crappy hotel. Can Concierge. Google it. Of course, it may be a dump when I get there, but the pics online looked great, and we know that everything you see on the internet is always just as good in real life. And be sure to tune into the Four Ps next week from a very exciting, very different location. I won't say where it is yet, but if you can guess by typing the answer below in the comments, you will win a free autographed copy of next week's 4Ps video.